Hello folks, welcome back to another video and today we are back, I'm out of breath, we are back in Milford. Now I've seen this house previously on a YouTube video, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> now you know I don't edit. Um, this is called <clears throat> the old schoolmaster's house and at the bottom of that lane is the school that was built in 1872. Now the schoolmaster lived up the lane at this house right here. Now even back in the day schoolmasters didn't have big fancy houses like the one you see behind me here. Now, the reason why he had a big fancy house was he was related to Lord Leitrim. Uh, Lord Leitrim had a lot of land and property around here and he used to come to uh, Milford, which is the town that we're in. Uh, he used to come to Milford to collect rent. And rather than go around to all the houses, um, the headmaster here used to collect the rent from around this area. And Lord Leitrim would come and collect the rent from him. And uh, because he was related, um, it was probably perks of the job that he lived in a big house like this. Now, uh, Lord Leitrim was killed um, I think murdered on the way here one day to collect the rent. So uh, that is the connection with Lord Leitrim to this uh, to this house. Uh, the schoolmaster himself, um, they found out his name was Charles. Um, there has been an interview on YouTube of uh, former residents of this house. There hasn't been too many people that lived in this house but uh, there was two people uh, willing to share their haunted story. And that's why we're here. Sound like back Zach Bagans again. But uh, the people that were interviewed um, explained that they had seen visions of a man and a dog uh, often sitting in the sitting room. Uh, there was cold spots. Um, they've heard voices. Um, one of them was a woman's voice um, calling out the name Charles. They didn't know at the time that the guy, the uh, headmaster, uh, head, headmaster's name was Charles. Now, uh, another part of the history was when Charles and his wife died, the property was acquired by the Presbyterian Church. Um, there has been a veterinarian uh, living in the house for a while and then um, the, uh, the people that um, I seen on the YouTube video. So um, they experienced cold spots, uh, noises, voices and uh, visions inside in this house and uh, some of their relatives would not enter inside this house at all. They were that scared of it. So uh, I can't get access to it but I thought I would bring you around and show you around this area and you know sometimes we get into places sometimes we don't but uh, this house has been uh, like this for a long time so. Uh, well as you can see a pretty a pretty big house. And he didn't have far to go to work. He, all, he, all he had to do was walk down to the end of the lane. There's uh, a lovely white horse over here. I know it's a distraction, but... Hello. Hello. 
I have my uh, EMF detector right here in hand just to see if uh, we get any spikes because there will not be electricity on in this building but uh, if it goes off it could be a radio signal if it flickers, if it doesn't, if it, if it stays on for any length of time, it's possibly something else. But uh, I'm on my own, I'm not going to communicate, I'm not going to call out to spurts or anything like that. You know, um, I would rather do that with other, with other people and that, you know. Um, well, my job is to go around and, and document and, and, uh, and show you places, you know. It's not my job to go out and do uh, paranormal investigations on my own. I'm not going to do that, you know, or refuse to. But uh, apparently this is the most haunted uh, location in Milford. Now, the only thing we can get access to is this shed. This shed was in the YouTube video, but it's not original to the house, really. So the only place that we're going to get into, but you never know. It's just a, it's just an old lean-to shed. But, uh, you know, sometimes we get into places, sometimes we don't. But, you know, um, I came the whole way from Derry to, to Milford here just to, to, uh, have a look around this house and have a look at and have a feel for the history here, you know. Um, rather than just looking at it on YouTube, I decided I'd go and um, have a look look at it myself, you know. So, uh, right, we'll go back outside and have a look around. Today and yesterday I seem to have a team with horses. Um, if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen um, yesterday's video, I have three of them up. Uh, one of them is of uh, Ballym Cool uh, House, and um, I had to go through a field of horses, which I was pretty scared of. Um, but uh, I've seen videos of that on YouTube as well, only from a distance. But I managed to get in to the grounds and I got into some of the house. So if you haven't seen that, go and have a look, you know. Um, as you can see, some of the, uh, some of the uh, trees here go way back to when the house was built. They're huge. But uh, as you can see, a pretty huge house. Um, it's it's unknown why it uh, was boarded up and and uh, went into the disrepair that it is now. Like um, I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't know whether nobody wants to live in it because it was so haunted. Um, there's a possibility, but that was a massive top end house of the time. And as I say, the school dates back to 1872 so this house must date back somewhere somewhere at the same uh, at the same time you know but uh You know, um, when I see a place boarded up and I can't get in, uh, I say to myself, there's no content here. But uh, because of the history, that's why I'm 
here and that's why I'm documenting it you know so uh, just to document that I was here you know um, and uh, there may be stories on the internet uh, I tend to go to YouTube and look up things because I don't have to read and um, I have difficulty in reading very small writing so uh, the whole story would be on the internet and uh, as I said before it's called the old headmaster's house in Milford in County Donegal so uh, um, you will get a detailed story of it I would just give you the uh, I just give you the brief uh, history of that um, but uh, the lady that was in the house that was interviewed says they didn't bother her too much um, but it did bother, bother um, relations of hers who refused to get out of the car and go in the house do you know and she had a relative that came over from Canada or the United States or somewhere and uh, one night um, suddenly there was very very uh, noticeable cold spells downstairs and they both were in uh, very much fear um, a, a, a very fearful energy and they stayed upstairs the whole night and gradually the cold uh, the cold uh, the cold spell at the bottom of the house gradually the next morning um, participated um, and, and went, went away so uh, well she also mentioned too about her dogs going over and wagging their tails and uh, reacting to something that visually wasn't there and sometimes barking at things that weren't there so uh, um, a pretty pretty haunted history here you know um, it's a pity to see um, to see this house boarded up because there's absolutely huge grounds and everything and it's a lovely uh, spot you know it's uh, a last look and I will let you go folks uh, that will be my I'm after tripping on a stone that will be my video for the day because uh, um, I've done three yesterday and uh, once I get one done today I can't get uh, one done every day but um, I will try when I'm get out and about obviously I have other things to do but um, I like uh, getting out and and, uh, and videoing and giving you guys some content but uh, unfortunately nothing to see in this house today um, but it's uh, it's a story and it's uh, it's a haunted location and uh, uh, I've been here to visit so guys I'm going to let you go and I will see you in the next video I cannot tell you what where it is or what, what it's going to be uh, because I'd never had plans this was the last minute uh, last minute plan I actually came here yesterday uh, looking for it and couldn't find it and um, then reminded myself last night that I passed a little little uh, school at the bottom of the road and that is where it should be so I came back to the location and I found it up that uh, tiny little laneway there so uh, I'll see you in the next video folks and as always be good to each other